Hello. Today's guest is a friend of mine who is a composer, musician, and consultant in New York. His name is Maxwell Henry. And a couple of weeks ago, we had the chance to sit down and talk a bit about life as a composer, life in New York, politics, and just a bunch of interesting topics. But before you check that out, please remember to like my channel, leave a comment, subscribe, and if you like my content generally, please consider visiting my Patreon page. Welcome to Music in Mind, Music in Mind, with Anthony Coffey. Hello, everybody. What's up? This is my friend, Maxwell Henry, composer, musician, consultant. Consultant. Yeah. So, how's it going? Really good. Um, this has been a cool... It's been a cool... So, I've been out of New York uh, for the summer. I uh, basically, like, hit rock bottom, as, as it were. Um, I don't know if we've talked about this. I don't think so. Because uh, we did a we did a podcast a about a year, over ago, a year ago, a year yeah, ago, right. and things were great. And then yeah. I learned that they weren't great. I was just maybe insane a little bit, and didn't know it, <laughs> and didn't know it. Like that's the, okay. that, that's like the fucked up part. Like I felt great. I felt I was composing. I was right. I was running events. Yeah, because you had a new piece that you showed me. I had a new piece, yeah. and it was the, the first piece I released is Maxwell Henry, which is why I have my tattoo, by the way. I'm not an egomaniac, and I didn't sign myself, which yeah. is but the first it? question that everyone gets. It's just it's just the sign-off of a But poem. The, it has a year, too. 2018. Yeah. Oh, yeah. the poem, I see. So this is how I end my score, is a, a haiku that I wrote, actually. It says, inexplicably release in resolution, here I stand beneath, and Maxwell Henry 2018. When did you get that done? It looks really new. It is. I yeah, still shaved. Um, I guess I since there is video, I can short, <laughs> I can short short. Oh yeah, here. yeah yeah. Um, and I'm really happy with it. I got it done around the corner by this dude named Flav. We don't have to bleep his name. Inktastic did okay. a great job. Do or don't have to bleep his name. Don't. Okay. I mean, unless he doesn't like advertising, but again, it's 2019. So also, I only have 29 followers. <laughs> so. No, no, you got twenty. Yeah, you got twenty nine followers, bro. I mean, I got like four hundred, no. but you know, <laughs> get your numbers YouTube. up. YouTube, get your numbers um, up, dude. YouTube, yeah, no, YouTube. That's great. That's one, but it's great. But if, all, if it's twenty nine friends, if it's twenty nine friends, it's awful. But if it's twenty nine people, twenty nine friends is good. You need twenty nine plus whatever. Yeah. Like you need your twenty nine friends. Everyone yeah. needs twenty nine friends. Exactly. No more, no less. Right. That's the perfect number. That's the perfect number. Yeah. All right. I won't get into it. It's science, but... It's what about science. Dunbar's number? I don't know what that is. Uh, That's fake. No, it's like <laughs> the, the maximum people you can really have in your community is 150. Oh, I believe that. And th and at, that, at, at, that, at that is point, at the core of you start the world's splitting problems. off into different communities. That is the core of yeah, the world's there's problems. there's a whole theory because about we have, it. we have this like notion uh, that one person at the head of the, the government, of any government, can just fix everyone's life. Right. As if to say we are all the same and have all the same problems, or even not that. I don't think anyone says that. But <laughs> but they act like they do. It's just that, like, yeah. it's whoever get like, we have to get the White House, because if we don't, our li the lives as we know it are over. And that's just objectively yes. not true. The sun does come up the next day. Yeah, like, it has As it, much it as people hated yet. that, when, like, it's like, hey... We're still here. Yeah. Some people are dying, but people have always been dying. So That's true. It's just like now people just choose which ones they want to talk about, and I get really infuriated by that. Yeah. It's propaganda. And anyways, it's But it's hard deep. not to do that. It's hard not to be involved in propaganda of some sort. Well, because everyone has bias. Like, there's, there's Nazi propaganda, and then there's, like, MSNBC <laughs> yeah. and Fox News. And yeah, and, 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 and an infinite number of other propagandas. Yeah, like, you know, you know, all, I was, I was having a conversation. I was having a conversation with a fellow libertarian friend, and I don't, I don't identify as a libertarian, but I would identify as a social republican. A social republican, which is interesting that is, because that's interesting. That's yeah. because that's what the Republican Party started uh, right. as, and that was like the that was the party of Lincoln, and that's why they're not that anymore. Uh huh. And, uh, so it's just interesting because my brother's super into history and like probably a future politician. So he's very like in tune with what goes on and like, 
and has a really well-rounded like view of things. He yeah. leans. He's like a communist. He would he would nice. jokingly say he's a communist. So that's where a lot of my social view, socialist views, st- like police department, utilities, yeah. all road, like, all of that. Like, Roads are sweet. You want to tell me you don't want to live without that? That's a socialized program. Social, social security. I see what you mean name. by social republican. So the fact that we can't socialize medicine, I think, is a ridiculous like mm-hmm. take. I think it just is lazy. I think you're just scared of like finding something better. To be honest, and yeah. I and again, that's something I get frustrated with. I feel like the arguments against it are not scared of finding something better, but yes. They wouldn't see that that way. Right, yeah. But yeah. that's how I see it. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Okay, so, what have you been up to? I have been cooking my ass off in a Japanese steakhouse in Williamsburg. And that's it's crazy. it's been both the coolest and worst experience of my life. Restaurant's phenomenal. I recently just left as of, like... Really, I left in my mind about a week ago because I just decided to not come in because the chef and I had a pretty intense disagreement. But the interesting thing was it was like the first time in my life I've stood up for myself mm-hmm. and when I was just being blatantly disrespected. And that was something I just can never do. It's an important do. thing to it's do. The mid, it's, it's the Midwestern in yeah, me where no, like, I know. I know like what you, you don't want to upset anybody and it's like, okay, I'll do better for you. I yeah. don't care how I feel. I had this experience recently too. But, yeah. Uh, that's cool. What was it with? It was with the uh, musical, right? Yes. Yeah. No, and it felt like I don't want to say like I I took pleasure in it, but it felt good and it felt right. Yeah. Like I didn't hate myself. I wasn't guilty. I didn't feel bad. Yeah. I was just like, to be honest, like, fuck this. Like I don't need this. I'm I'm doing other things with my life, and this is something that is trying to pay the bills at the yeah. moment. And you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and just like serve there once once uh, one to two nights a week. Oh, because it's a really nice restaurant. Yeah. So I can potentially like cover my bills and maybe even just tips, mm-hmm. depending on when I work. Um, That's amazing if you could do that. Dude, two New nights. York, you can live on. New York's crazy. Like when you talk about living in L.A. and California in general, I'm from California. For everyone out there that doesn't know, San Francisco Bay Area. What up, Walnut Creek? Uh, East Bay for days. Um, hella, all that fun stuff. <laughs> Uh, so, um, yeah, uh, and that's where, I've, and actually that's perfect, that's where I've been, uh-huh. uh, so basically when I was working at the kitchen, I was working 60 hours a week, six days a week, not six days a week all the time, but 50 to 60 hours a week, Jeez. and it, let me tell you, dude, yeah, it I was the hardest that. job no. of my life, and I have I mean, a, we- and I have a weird else, affinity then. for manual labor, because Same. I, because I believe that it just... Service jobs and manual labor, everyone should do it. I like it. No yeah. one says manual labor because no one does it. And it's super important. It... I, re- I have so much respect. Like, Mike Rowe, Dirty Jobs, dude's <laughs> an American hero. Yeah. I don't watch a show. I don't watch a show because yeah. I don't watch that kind of television. But, like, I've heard him speak and, like, he's a smart, cool, yeah. necessary voice. That's but also... Not, and, not, that's unfo- not, and that's unfortunately a hot take because he probably supports Trump. So, like... Fuck the world. I, like, I'm, <laughs> I'm so mad right now. I don't mean to be like... <laughs> I'm, I'm really... I'm fed up. I'm, 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 mm-hmm. I'm deciding to just live my life. The reason I jokingly say I'm a libertarian... Yeah. Is that I, I'm currently now in the process of learning the sport of survive, survivalism. If you know what I mean. So being mm-hmm. able to Not live quite. off the wilderness... To be able to not... In New York City. No, no, no. Okay. In, I mean, the middle of fucking nowhere. Oh, like Inside Idaho. Inside woods. Yeah. Wyoming, Montana. particularly. Oh, okay, cool. Um, Why? Because I've... So my parent, my dad grew up on a farm in Wisconsin, mm-hmm. and I grew up in a suburb in California in the Bay Area. Mm-hmm. But I wished I grew up on a farm. I spent okay. most of my childhood wanting to live in Wisconsin. Yeah. Because I just identified with something about outdoors farm life country life uh-huh. it's just so much better yeah like, i can't even explain to you and that's what and that's where i get frustrated when people say like fuck people say trump supporters are uh racist pieces of shit sometimes degenerates of course but do you want to know who else is also racist degenerates pieces of shit Every, Hillary yeah. supporters, Democrats, like everybody is shitty to some percentage. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
and that could even be to the person. Like we all have things we don't like about ourselves or want to change. And that was what I did in New in California. When I went back home, I got to like when I say rock bottom, I like I wasn't like addicted to drugs or anything like that. And that yeah. was and that was the thing that was interesting. Uh, was I realized you don't have to be a, you can be working your ass off and doing the right things uh-huh. and like because this was just after I me and my roommate had run a successful art collective. Yeah. Um. Right. Yeah, I remember because we talked about that last. That was what the last podcast was about. Yeah. So I won't get into that. You can go back and check out Anthony's and tell your friends to subscribe. By the way, you can click the link below. I've never done that before. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, you did that a whole bunch last time. Oh, because remember I you were trying to give me, okay, trying to give so, me the link things that. that oh, that's right. That you couldn't link. link. That you couldn't link. That's right. Because I just am. I'm a business. I'm a. I'm an entrepreneur at heart. That's another thing I had to learn about myself. I just didn't know myself. I was too busy doing other people's things. Right. And didn't didn't was incapable of listening to how I. Uh, um what I felt. You know what I mean? Sure. So I would, mental toughness versus mental awareness. There's this, oh man, I can't believe I'm about to do this. This is also my entrepreneurial, like, so there's a podcast that I recommend everybody check out. Um, are you familiar with the person Violet Benson? No. Okay. So she's a really awesome, like, influencer on Instagram right now. She's like an Instagram model uh-huh. and she's like an ironic Instagram model. So she's like hilarious, but like objectively just undeniably gorgeous. You know what I mean? Okay. But just hilarious, like and 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 like just a business person. You know what sure. I mean? Like just worked her way to the top, and like, but she did a pot. And <laughs> I don't really listen to any other episodes of her podcast because it's just clearly not for me. But she did an episode on depression. Ah, okay. And this was a thing, and she talks about this idea of mental awareness versus mental toughness. And growing up Catholic and Midwestern in California, basically. Yeah. Because my dad, like, I don't want to say my dad raised me because, like, my mom was always in the picture. But she she worked, she was a, like, big-time successful lawyer in uh-huh. California. Like, eminent domain, real estate, law. Oh, wow. Which is, like, big, yeah, big stuff. Intense. Government stuff. Yeah. Um... And she was really, really good. So, uh-huh. but there's a thing about being a really, really good lawyer. You work like 90 hours a week. Right. So that's just that. I mean, it's like, I respect my mom more than like anybody. Cause like, it's incredible what she was able to accomplish in like a male dominated mm-hmm. field in the nineties. Right. So I learned a lot from that, but I learned more from my dad early on in my childhood. Cause he just happened to be around more. Mm-hmm. Um, and was just like the perfect kind of like stay at home dad in terms of like he just nurtured like or just like encouraged us to just do what we wanted to do right and, but the funny thing is my dad always encouraged us to do it the best we humanly could yeah and so he right. pushed That's us good. like really hard yeah, yeah. and like i resonated with that because i was a football player i was a rugby player and that was what i hated music when i was young which is the funniest you thing. hated music hated it like you didn't even like listening to it no nope. i don't understand that like i know i've met Maybe like three people in my life who told me they don't who like are musicians. Music. Yeah, I've met three musicians in my wow, whole life. Good, I would love to meet these people. No, 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 no. Stuff. Sorry, I was just joking. They're not uh, musicians. Yeah, of course. You're the only musician I've, I've ever I'm the met. only musician I've met. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's good. <laughs> uh, I know no one. That's just me out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, uh, no, 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 I've met a few people who don't like music, like, they don't listen to it for fun. I do know people like that, and they're the weirdest people. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense. There, I think there's but some, you there's gotta like be, that. I, no, it wasn't that I didn't enjoy music, because I played piano from the age of five, right. and I clearly, the reason I was good, yeah, was because I was, my mom tells the story all the time, I was notorious as, for being the perfect baby, like, I slept through the night, didn't cry, you could set me down, like... You could set me down sitting down, and they would come back like two hours later, and I'd be sitting in the same place, just kind of like checking yeah. shit out. Well, that's good. But interesting, right? Like, yeah. there's not many baby. Like, just I've heard that. that. Yeah, just, yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously, I wasn't perfect. Like, no babies. You're going to cry. You're going to. Baby's perfect. You're going to poop some yourself. Some babies are. You're assholes. definitely pooping yourself. Fuck baby. Uh, my dad has some good diaper changing stories about me, but. 
I think every parent does. That's the. Can I tell you that's the one? Do you one? think they're actually so good can stories? I tell you that's the one. Like thing? other people like hearing them. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> but that's the one thing I don't want to do. I don't want to do as a parent. Change that. I know I want to be a parent. Like I yeah. know I want that. Yeah. I know, and I also know about myself that when the time comes, I will be ready. So you need like a genetically modified like poopless baby. <laughs> yeah. Maybe a colostomy bag. I, I, I don't oh. know. No, no, I'm <laughs> so fucking joking. And I shouldn't joke about that. Um, but, uh, yeah, we can, we can move on. Okay. Um, we're getting, we're getting all, we're, all right. we're, we are so off food. the Google so, board. So you, we are <laughs> off the Google board. So you've been cooking. Food. You've been working. So let me get to what Japanese I learned at this place. Yeah. Positives. Um, I learned a lot about food. I love cooking. I always have. Yeah. Got it from my grandma. Food and music I got from my grandma. This is my grandma's piano, by the way. What a grandma. That's awesome. Um, Wisconsin grandma, by the way, the farm farm grandma. So she she fed a. a so she, did you bring this from Wisconsin? Yes. Wow. That thing weighs five hundred pounds. Not that, and, and it might did weigh. You move it or get a mover. I had a mover, but I had but there were two movers, and I had to be the third person. And, and you're we on had the to third go floor. One, you had to go. We'd go the one thing. step at a time. And you know that organ I have in there that yeah. I got for free? Yeah. Uh, that thing flew up the stairs. I bet. Flew. <laughs> and then we did this, and it's just like, it, you did go like one one thing at a time, and it was just like, all right, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> and, you all, and you all had hernias afterwards. Yeah, it was it was bad, dude. It was I bad. bet. But, oh but the great thing is how the, many, wheels, the wheels work so well on this that you can move it pretty easy once it's, once on it's here. Flat. Yeah. And nothing's flat here, by the way. It's all it's all bowed, but right. that's why the acoustics are great. So, um, ready? okay, so cooking. Anyways, <laughs> we'll see what the mics get with that. We'll get something there. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so food. Uh, what I'm gonna be cooking for you guys today, and when I say you guys, I'm gonna be cooking it for Anthony and Ray and myself and whoever. Decides to show up today. Ray's on videography, by the way. You yes. probably can't see him. Give, give yourself a what's up. But he's. What's up? <laughs> uh, uh, so. It's called Kalaage. Okay. Not entirely sure how to spell it. However, it is. It translates to Japanese fried chicken. Okay. And it's no different than other fried chicken, other than like you. You usually use only chicken thighs, and you cut them up into like bite size, like almost like nugget sized pieces mm-hmm. you have there's a marinade of soy sauce mirin ginger i don't think any garlic uh that's basically it yeah. there might be a couple other things uh i don't think there's sugar because you got the sugar from the mirin and then what i've decided to do and this is this is my fusion of it yeah. usually you just coat it in potato starch and then you you uh, use like the marinade as like an egg wash almost and then you coat it in potato starch and you put it in the fryer. Oh nice. What I learned by accident was if you make if you make the potato starch like a goop kind of uh-huh. and toss the chicken in and you fry it coated in the goop. Yeah. It comes out with this really smooth even layer. Uh okay. Like like a batter almost. Okay, like like it's basically batter. That's actually exactly what it is. Mm-hmm. It's batter fried. Um which is not I don't believe Japanese uh a Japanese technique. But uh... Because tempura is not really battered. I yeah, mean, I was it is gonna, it, I was actually ask you about it, 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 it is, is bat- batter, right? It is batter, but the way that it's fried is it's very light and airy. Mm-hmm. This is very like smooth and because there's a bunch of like weird things, like a fried cheese curd or something. Yes, exactly like a fried cheese curd. It sounds super good. It's very good. Yeah, and and the and the reason it's good is that because of the marinade that it fries in, it leaves such an you've never had this flavor. Now I before. prefer I prefer batter fries to like crumbly. Fry it. Yeah, because I don't like the weird texture. Like yeah, the, like, the like complicated when, when texture. cheese curds, like from Culver's, they have like the bits. Just, yes. I don't like that that much. Oh, I like the bits for like contrast, but okay. Uh, yeah, that's, that's you're just, wrong. That's just, okay. that's just chef thinking. So you know, yeah. what up, chopped? This, this is my <laughs> this will be my audition video for Chopped. By the way, I didn't even think about that till just now. But oh, yeah. That would be so fun to do. I would. I probably. I'd for sure go out in the, in the first round. I'm almost convinced of it. Because cool. I'd, I'd, I'd open the basket. I'd open the basket, but like I never heard anything. I don't know things. what this show. What is chopped? Chopped? Yeah. Oh, you okay? It's on the food. I'm network. really bad at. Shows. That's fine. It's on the food. Network. I mean, there's no. Re- it's not. I'm not gonna. Dude, you haven't seen Chopped? I hate those. That's why I hated music. 
because it's chopped. No, no I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> because when you're yeah, in middle no, school, I know what you everyone yep. hates you yep. for your musical taste. And I'm like, I don't need, look. I play music, and I didn't think this way, but it was yeah. like I'm right. doing the shit. And they're like, you haven't heard Brahms' Third Symphony, and it wasn't that. It like, was I, like, it's like a, you like Good Charlotte? Are you? Are you fucking serious? No, you're not. No little. Are you fucking serious, bitch? No. Uh, but it's like it, you were ostracized. Like, and kids are evil, man. Mm-hmm. Evil. <laughs> if they had physical strength, they would take over the world. Yes. That's Even definitely. at the size that they're at, low center of gravity. You don't see them coming. Silent. Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. that would be a nightmare. That's a, that's a movie idea. Yeah. <laughs> so you're making the the chicken. Yes. Cool. And and yeah you uh yes so and unfortunately people won't get to taste it but you can follow me on Instagram uh, I'm I'm gonna post recipes and things like that sweet s- some point in the future what's as your well Instagram? as musical recipes which segues perfectly into my cons- well, what what's I- your Instagram and we actually will put a link alright where do I want it where do you want you're gonna decide so we got Maxwell Henry at underscore Maxwell Henry uh and I don't I was gonna point something else out but I can't just uh, point in place <laughs> ha- hashtag hashtag rock and roll over here <laughs> and that'll go straight to you that'll go straight to me so uh yeah this is my face i am bald we discussed that i'm all, i'm i can't brian urlacher it man i've i've had people tell me like dude i, I found the greatest like hair growth shit i'm like there's some there are some horrible yeah. side effects dude Horrible. I'm not gonna. They're. I'm not gonna say what they are right now because it's just not necessary. But and I was raised Catholic and Midwestern, so you don't say Uh-oh. those words. Oh. Anyway, okay. nah, it's not. It's not that serious. But it's just. I. It's just like I don't want that. Yeah. I. I don't mind. <laughs> Everyone on my dad's side of the family is fucking bald as shit, and it, it is happens. what it is. Guys can be bald. Yes. It's fine. It's very fine. Is you guys with luscious locks over here? But mine's thinning. It's thinning. It really is. Like I feel like it might. It will. You'll definitely be like one of those people at like fifty. Like you'll. Yeah, you'll I think have, so. You'll have some skin showing. Because it's going back. Yeah, you'll have some skin showing. Yeah. But, um, like Dembski. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's he's, he's bald. Got a, yeah. Steve Dembski, by the way, composer. Steve. He was our professor. Steve. Dembski. And actually, no. Look, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the. Uh, <laughs> You can you can put Steve Dembski on both sides because he has those like pictures. Oh yeah, where yeah. Where he's yeah. doing like the point. I fucking love yeah. those. <laughs> he's a he's a composer and he was actually uh, our our professor. Yeah, at mutual. And, and we found Wisconsin and we found that we write the same music because of it. Yeah, yeah, a lot of interesting similarities. <laughs> yeah. So speaking of music, what what have you been up to? <clears throat> so, the reason I've left school is one that was the most toxic work environment ever uh-huh. in the kitchen. Uh. We can bleep some if you feel it. I don't really care. It's up to you. Yeah, that's fine. Um, well, it'll be a game time decision. <laughs> Just text me when you're editing. Uh, I'll tell you how I feel. Um, so I'm for the first time. For the first time I, since making Great America, which you can, you probably can't see, but it's the it's hanging on the wall a little bit. Yeah. Um, that was the piece that you wrote last year. Uh yes yeah. yes in 2018 that's the tattoo yeah and it's an imp- it's an improv piece it's like a spatial scoring I don't know graphic notation maybe yeah exactly. graphic definitely graphic exactly graphic notation and words yeah um there's a recording of it at a creators collection dot com I'm proud of it you'll hear it you'll hear it and you'll be like what the fuck is this dude talking about but that's me in a nutshell that's the best that's yeah. me in a nutshell is like I don't want you to know I want you to figure out what I'm saying Mm -hmm. and here's the here's a a hot take i like hot takes uh really my artist statement is i kind of i was i was talking to like that same fellow libertarian friend former rugby teammate Uh um who's just a hilarious dude and we're just we're talking about political climate and he he's not like fuck yeah trump he's like you know what trump objectively has done some policy things that have benefited the united states of america and those are objective facts the way he's gone about it is fucked up, should never happen again, and I he, I view him as a treasonous president. Yeah. We've had treasonous presidents before. I agree. Um, and sure. he's a treasonous president, yeah. and I feel very strongly about that, and he's the reason I want a gun. I want an AR-15, to be perfectly specific. 
35 of them. I want an AR-15. I want to hunt. I want to hunt. This bow goes back into survivalism. And this ties into music, too, because my music, mm -hmm. I'm basically making country music. You Wait, wait, wait. You want to, did you say a bow? No, no, no. Uh, well, bow would be tight, too. I've, I've done, I've shot bows before. Uh -huh. uh, I've shot shotguns before and bows. Never yeah. anything else. And I don't particularly like guns, actually. My, my philosophy is changing, and really it's come from food, actually, too, is that... So you can shoot the food. I'm not vegan, but I eat pretty plant-based, but I like to cook meat when I have it. Yeah. I hate how the food industry, and this goes for vegetables, mm, too. Yeah, so yeah, that's why, sure. like, when vegans get on their high horse about, like, plants, it's like, you realize, like, Monsanto has fucked yeah. the planet. Like, actually... Um, not permanently. I mean, I don't know. Not permanently. So my, my uncle, my uncle in Wisconsin is an organic farmer. Uh -huh. So he has a lot of experience with GMO and all this stuff. Uh -huh. And I don't, he's definitely, I don't think he's, cause he's a really smart guy. I don't think he's against GMO. Cause if you're really smart, you're not because, because <laughs> well, I mean, everything we eat is GMO. Pretty much. Yes. And people will argue that's why we have cancer. That's all that. But um, I mean, I don't think there's any real research on it in a statement like that, though. No, there isn't. But yeah. that's the that's my point. Yeah. There's no evidence to back this like hippie bullshit up, and uh, <laughs> so this is getting yeah. into my artist statement. Cancel me if you want. Like yeah. I dare you. Well, you can't cancel it. Sometimes. That's what I'm saying. I dare you. Like try to cancel me, and I, I want to see what happens. Like I really do, because because what? But cause, for what? Because what I this is why. Because what I what I truthfully believe is that when you when everyone is in the room is yeah. able to express their God's honest opinion. Uh huh. You can insert whatever word you want for God. Um, your honest opinion. Yeah. Something happens. I think in the energy of a room. I th to me, at least, it's palpable when people are guarded. Because I've been guarded, like, all my life, yeah. almost. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's a real issue. I agree. People being guarded and not able to... Or not... They don't feel able to express ideas. Um, yes. And, and what's dangerous about that is when you have bad ideas and you don't release them to the world... Right, you don't... You don't, you don't know they're bad ideas. Yeah, exactly. If you haven't got hit in the face for calling someone the N-word, you're going to keep doing it. Uh, sure. You don't, do, you don't agree with that? Uh, I, I agree. It's, it's just sort of a funny example, but yeah, I agree. I mean, I think it's a topical example. No, I agree. It's, it, it's never happened to me. <laughs> no, but no, I'm but also I, not going to do but it. I know you know? people that it's happened to, and I know white people that use it. I don't know any white person... I'm definitely not close with any white person that would use that word outside of a rap song or trying to be funny, like quoting something. Yeah, I mean, maybe in like an academic context, talking about it. That, like I, don't a count that. I don't count that as the same thing. Like if, if you're using in the word as a historical context to... Hit, talking about it. Talking about it, I, I think. And, and there's like Ta-Nehisi Coates is like mm -hmm. famous for saying like, I don't mind you saying the word. It's, it's how you're saying if, if you're If you're quoting somebody... Right. Like, I mean, I there are people who do mind you saying the word. I, that's why it's complicated, man. Yeah. And that's why, like, I think white people just need to take a fucking chill pill and just be like, look, you don't understand. You actually don't. I know it's that's a hard pill to swallow. Yeah. But take some time. But you time. can't, really. What? You, not only do you, you don't understand. You can't. You, right. And, and, and until you acknowledge that you can't, you're going to white splain for days. Right. You know what I mean? It's the same thing with sexism. It's the same thing with all the isms. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well. So I forget what we were, what, what I was getting at with my friend. Uh, so I think we'll just move. But on. you were talking about just ex like like cancel you like you're gonna express yourself. I'm gonna express myself, and I want I want an adverse reaction. So I'm I'm record I I, I just opened a studio, mm -hmm. and I said I wasn't gonna promote it, so I'm not gonna say the location or you the can. Name. I mean, if you want to, no, I know it. I can, but I, but I actually don't want okay, to. Okay. It's called the Misfit Studio, featuring the Misfits instruments. If you're interested in recording with me, you can reach me at Instagram at Maxwell Henry hashtag Rock and Roll hashtag I do more than rock and roll. <laughs> uh, I hope your fingers are spread enough. Apart. No, no, I, I, I hit it. All right. Um, I write spatial notation. I got good spatial awareness. Okay, good. I'm, I'm an athlete. I'm a jock first, musician second. Interesting. Not, not the other way around. Um, so yeah, don't cancel me. Or try to cancel me. 
please. That's my invitation. <laughs> Try to cancel me. My music is not. If my music sounds like it can be on the radio, I it, my music will not ever sound like it can be on the radio. Is really my philosophy when it comes to making. So music. what happens if it gets really popular and gets on the radio? That'd be great. Yeah. Then that would that would that would make me so. And then it'll sound happy. exactly like it can be on the radio. <laughs> exactly, and then boom. Please let me be the Bernie for music. That that maybe is like my the like, what the Bernie for music. Oh, yeah. Like just show people you can do it a different way. Yeah. And but vilify me for it. Like I'll 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 jump on that grenade for because Bernie will never be president. I'm sorry. Like I never yeah. in a million years, a communist <laughs> in the White House. I'll give that 150 years. That's my bet. I'll place money on that. I don't know. I mean, I don't know about time, but it's not happening this time. I don't <laughs> it's not happening. But here's the thing. Here's why I think it may be, there's a 0.1% chance. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Is why it's not a surefire bet. Is well, He's um, not... Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. Think about, like, Obama. Uh-huh. Or let's think. Clinton. Bush. Yes. Obama. Trump. Do you notice the back, the back and forth there? Yeah, but then Trump needs another term, and then... Yeah, Trump will win again. Trump will win again. That's I, that I'm convinced of. Yeah, and the, and I laugh in li, in liberals' face who tell me otherwise because show me t- and please tell me why. Tell me what I can do. Yeah, I mean something might happen. Tell me Obama what I can do. In late. There's an Andrew Yang like uh, outpost that just got set up down the street. Nice. I'm walking in there for sure because I really he's never like going to be president. Yeah, unless he changes everything about himself. But I would. Vote I for think him he's way standing. more useful outside of government. Than yeah, inside, maybe. yeah. Because know. do you know what he did to be famous? He's created thousands. Well, he of was jo- a venture for America, yeah, yeah, right? Venture thousands for of jobs in jobless places with uh-huh. young entrepreneurs creating these jobs. Right. That is so vital. Yeah. I can't explain it. Uh, I don't really want to get into a racial discussion here because I don't. I feel uncomfortable about two white people just like going at, mm-hmm. like what we feel about this. But I do talk with a lot of people about these things and there's an interesting power struggle that has Uh always gone on between minority and white majority and majority yeah (laughs) thank you majority minority minority and majority yeah um and it's and it's never been like it's that the power struggle goes back and forth a little bit but it's always been in the favor of the majority Uh by far no matter how many numbers the minority gets it almost increases the problem, to be honest. Um, all I'm trying to say is the minority has a significant advantage, and I think it's, and I think it's what I think it's what. In what? Yeah, so I'll explain. Is I I, re- I didn't want to say it the way that I did. Uh, uh-huh. Um, I I can only give an example, like uh-huh. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, right? These types of people. Um, they have an advantage of being the counterculture. And the counterculture is a thing... This is a thing I learned at NYU in a songwriting history mm-hmm. class, is the counterculture is actually the culture. And that's the thing that it doesn't get talked about a lot. Because counterculture is actually the culture. Because counterculture is what moves culture forward. Like, people... The counterculture gets you to a spot, and enough people stop off and say, this is comfortable. Right, but there's probably also a million countercultures yes. that spring up at every at any time, and most of them just fizzle away. Yes. 100%. And that's why things don't change overnight. Like, if they did, then then I don't even know what that would look like. Mm-hmm. Maybe cool, but maybe not, also. Yeah, I mean, I see advantages in both... in both directions. Like... But you can always find like you don't anything. become a rock star if you're exactly the same as everybody. I think else. New York is a perfect example of how everyone can actually peacefully coexist. This is one of the nicest cities I've ever lived in. Yeah, honestly, granted, New York is. Granted, people can be assholes to your are face, really but it's out nice of courtesy yeah, to right. you. It's like, bro, you are fucking up my day right now, and I don't care about you in the slightest, and I shouldn't, and you shouldn't care about me. So, like, don't. Let's just not have a problem, okay? Mm-hmm. That's do you have that interaction once a week? Right. And I've gotten so used to it that I just, I, I find them funny. Like, I was walking down the sidewalk one day, one night, and, it, and I got to a point where it was really narrow, and this drunk dude just comes around the corner, like, out of fucking nowhere, like, from me to you. And I'm already on yeah, the right, right side of the sidewalk, because this is America, and that's where you walk, is on the right side, <laughs> right? Everyone's walked on the left side. It's not like you're not going to get a ticket for it. I never think about it. You're not going to yeah, get yeah. a ticket for it, but next time you're on the way, like, wow, everyone's walking on the right side of the street. 
So I go even more to the right side of the street against this construction barrier, yeah. and he stumbles into my path, and I'm yeah. just like, I am not doing this. I'm not throwing a spin move like mm-hmm. on you right now. And he's like, with all this sidewalk, and then just keeps going. And I just like laughed to myself because it's like I, this is why I love New York. It's yeah. like that doesn't happen. Any like it happens, I'm sure, yeah. but like there's just a weird energy to New York where people are just really honest. Yeah. And it's palpable, mm-hmm. just like it is in a room yeah. and in a city just as much. So I, I don't want to get more into New York because that's a whole topic. But um, I don't know where we're at on time. But I, I want to say one more thing about the consultancy because I think I mentioned it. And, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So the studio is a thing that I'm doing. It's pay what you can. That's the, the selling point. Uh-huh. I'm not going to charge you 80 bucks an hour. Because at the end of the day, it's your music. That's relatively low too. Yeah. Yeah. But that's what like that. That's what people start out at around. That's kind of a going rate for first timers in okay. New York. Like house studios, uh-huh. like because right. you're not talking about renting a studio yeah. space. Yeah. Um, that's expensive as shit. And musicians. So I'm an all-in-one studio. Mm-hmm. I have mus- I have instruments. I have a weird base of the this it's a one bedroom apartment that functions as a multi room booth uh-huh. that can be utilized in many different ways. Yeah. Closing doors, being in different parts of the room. There's not a straight wall in this room. There's not a ninety degree angle in this apartment. Yeah. You got a Nord keyboard, you got drums, you got, you got a got Nord an keyboard without a with without a working sustain pedal at the moment. It's I've oh, got, don't say that. I've got not I'm not gonna lie. This is New York. I can't lie. I can't <laughs> You you can't drop that I got a Nord and people come and then they're okay. like, you got no fucking pedal. I'm getting it fixed. I'm taking donations, so, like, let me help you. Yeah. Uh, help me help you. Uh, yeah, get that shit fixed. It's, like, the best thing ever. Uh, yeah, trust me, I'm a piano player. I know. But I've gotten, No, not but you. I've, I'm saying help him. Yeah, yeah, but I've gotten really good at legato playing, and I, so I, I, yeah, so yeah, I appreciate yeah. that. Because that's a technique that most piano players don't have. Yeah. Uh... And it's very useful. Anyways. So in addition to that, what is not pay what you can, and really what I'm doing is what I is a music consultancy service that I'm calling Handwritten Harmony. Uh-huh. For no other reason than, like, I write music by hand. That's, I, I can't, I, I, I refuse to do it on computer programs nowadays because I'm not good with technology. I also probably shouldn't say that by... Putting myself as a producer. Well, you're good engineer. with logic. I saw the stuff you were doing. I'm good with logic. I've yeah. gotten good with logic. Holy shit, man. Yeah. Fuck. Doing some oh. cool stuff. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate you saying that. There's there's <laughs> there's an endorsement because I probably sound like an idiot. No. Um. So yeah, thank you because I've I've worked really hard and that's yeah. and and would you say any of that music could be on the radio? Uh, probably not. Maybe what's good. Maybe what? the the I don't think I showed you that one. It's like a hip hop R and B. Okay. Uh, thing. So I do multi- I do every style, like not just hashtag rock and roll. Um, uh, I'm gonna put it somewhere else. <laughs> I'm okay with that, man. That's even funnier. Uh, I'm a classically trained pianist. I'm a jazz trained drummer, mostly self taught. Outside the first year or two that I learned drums, mm-hmm. played piano since I was five, drums since I was twelve. Guitar. Tried to teach myself guitar for fucking ever and never could then i started experimenting with open tunings yeah made a lot of sense for me now i'm taking standard tuning guitar six string guitar lessons i also notoriously six only, string guitar i also <laughs> that's a ridiculous thing to say if anybody's like i'm taking guitar lessons I notori- Wait, how many strings i notoriously actually no that's you're gonna play that guitar <laughs> this is also a perfect segue into the jam yeah we'll notori- fin- finish talking about what you yeah and then we'll do the jam yeah i will um I notoriously play guitar with five strings. I, I don't... I've always miraculous... It's a pretty weird calling card. I've, I've, it doesn't I've, even have a peg. You Did you lose it? or is it A what? The peg? A for the guitar? No, no, the peg. Oh, yeah. Is yeah. it gone? Yeah. No. <laughs> so it can't have six strings yeah. even if it wants No, and I don't even want it to. Actually, I, now that I'm learning six string guitar, I'm like, oh, that's why you have it. Okay. Yeah. So usually I'm in... E, I think this is standard tuning right now, but I'm in E... Yeah, so uh, this is standard tuning, but it's E, B, E, F 
sharp B. That's what you usually have it in. That's what that was the first open tuning. Not the first, but that was the first one. I was like, okay, I can yeah. I can play guitar. Cool. Because my technique was always good. Because I never play with a pick. Right. So that's why when I like learned because like my yeah, hand is mean, always the yeah, yeah yeah. And like and it and it is like a piano. Yeah. So. I mean, especially for finger picking. Exactly, and so I was always good at finger picking from the start. Yeah. Once I learned like some patterns, and it was like, okay, I yeah. can really only do three finger. Um, play banjo. Yeah, I would. My friend plays banjo. Yeah. My cool. Glasser. So your consultancy. Oh, sorry. I hate you. That's the thing. It's fine. But anyways. Um, yeah, consultancy. Then we'll play. Yeah, so basically I want to also help me help you kind of thing where it's not pay what you can. It's 75 a month for online services plus one monthly in-person uh, session or video, FaceTime, whatever you can do, Hangouts. It's 2019. Mm -hmm. Figure it out. Uh, you figure it out and then tell me. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, and then... Uh, and then if you only want the, what are these sessions for? The sessions are for learning how to, learning how to teach yourself what you want to learn. So I'm not Anything gonna, or just mostly music. Well, I mean, if you wanted to do some food, I wouldn't be opposed. Uh, but right. But if someone wants music, to, to be like so an it's, architect, it's, you it's, can't it, help. Yeah. That. Sorry. It, it's basically going to be music composition lessons and it comes right from like the classical composition understanding where like most people talk about songwriting, but I view songwriting as just one thing you can do as a composer. It's a form, essentially. Mm -hmm. It's a couple different, it's a genre of song, of composing. So I will, everyone's teaching themselves music these days and there's a lot of really great resources to be able to do that. Um, but it can be very overwhelming if you don't even know the instrument to begin with. It's yeah. one thing if you know the instrument, you can like know what to look for, yeah. know, and you can tell charlatans from not, uh, and things Musical like that. Musical charlatans. Musical charlatans, man. We're like we're just salesmen. Like like me and my friend are writing a song about that, and musicians are salesmen. Like I'm trying to sell out. I think you're trying to sell out. Like people are trying to sell out these days. I don't know. And and like I and. If you want to have a discussion on why I think selling out is an okay thing, what I mean by that is uh, compromising your artistic self for money is a terrible thing. No one should do that. But if you get to a point where you have a platform to make money mm -hmm. and support yourself and support other artists, because that's what I'm all I about. I think it's about value. Mm -hmm. So if, what you're do if you can do something that other people value and will... And can compensate you for that... Right, because they value in a, in a your ethical product. in an ethical way like that. I, people I might agree. people I, label that as selling out. Bad. People label that as selling out, and I think they mislabel that. But I it's, think there is become also a useless a bad, word. There is a bad selling out too. Yeah, hundred percent, and There's that's what both. I'm saying. Yeah, when you're yeah, compromising yeah. your artistic self to make money, that's a, always a bad thing. Yeah, because you're lying to people. And as an I artist, mean, I don't know if it's always a bad thing. Sometimes it's a job. Music can be a job too. Like. Like well, if you're of course a, if, it's if a job. You're, no, but if you're a Broadway pit musician, you're hired to do a thing, and that may or may not be your your um, your calling or whatever. But it doesn't matter. They don't care, and you don't care. Well, you might care, but they don't care. You're providing a service. I mean, it's it's almost no. I, I, I almost see it as a service industry job. Yes. Oh, it's customer service for sure. Like I mean, it's the, here's the thing about music is it's so many. It's event planning. It's but it, it's different it's sales. Than, it's than marketing. working as a composer in a university and getting grant money to do projects. See, that's what I thought I used to want to do, and I might have a. <laughs> if I do well to finish my degree, I might have an opportunity to work at NYU, Very teach cool. at NYU yeah, in some capacity, awesome. mm -hmm. like teach credits. But like basically, you can't teach. Like, I mean, it's a, but it's a really good way to, to make get your money, foot in the door, your, make yeah. money, make connections. It's NYU, like you can't. That's a great opportunity. Deny that. Yeah. So. Um, But there's a, cause like what Dembski did, he, yeah. he got a grant one time to just go to fucking Switzerland in the middle of nowhere and just write music. I don't yeah. know if it was Switzerland or sort of like a residency you got. Yeah. Yeah. Like I would, you you got a residency one time that had to have been cool. Yeah, it was great. Got on a plan to go write some music for a week. Yeah. Like that's, that's the life. Yeah. But you got to hustle cool. hard to get there. 
is is the thing and, and that doesn't and like, that I don't loses know that you the, money and I you don't still know, have to pay for stuff and I don't know that the university is where I want to do that at yeah cuz I think I can make my own university with this little thing yeah and that's my that's really my goal because I, I like I want this to be accessible and here's the other thing too I will always have like a financial aid component to my thing like if you really can't afford 60 a month you can't afford 75 a month like I will always like work with you to uh-huh. that's important yeah, that's why I, that's why I do pay what you can. Like I'm not marketing myself as some fucking wizard. But you need to make money too. You need yeah. money. You have your own. And expenses. I trust. And I trust artists understand what it's like. It's yeah. just like tip me. I don't need you. I don't. I'm not gonna charge you. Just tip me. Yeah. Cool. If you got five bucks, like, please come up with some more next time. But like, yeah. don't don't. If if you un, if you if you disrespect me, I I will tell you the first time. But if it happens again, like, it's just not gonna be. Right. A mutual, yeah, don't take it's, advantage. It's not, yeah, don't take advantage. Don't be a dick. That's the first rule of rugby is in the spirit of the game. Yeah. Don't be a dick. Cool. The ref, yeah, anyways. So with that, you yeah. want to play something? Mm-hmm. All right, let's do, let's improvise.
Rock and roll. Yeah, all right. Thanks, thanks for listening. Listening. Thanks for listening. Maxwell Henry. Thank you for listening. Yeah, that was fun. Check out his stuff. Check please, out his... please hit me up on Instagram. I'm on my phone all day, so I'll, probably, I'll get back to you probably weirdly quickly. Yeah, his okay. links his links are all in the description. Check it out. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye. Peace. All right, thanks for listening. Please remember to hit that like button, leave a comment if you have any interesting thoughts, and subscribe to my channel. Also, please remember to visit my Patreon page to consider supporting my work generally. Thanks. Bye.